okay um i'm <coughs> with simon at the moment um simon's uh, a refugee that came across to lesbos and uh, you stuck in moria um i let i'll let simon tell you his story um quickly uh, the way he he came across and everything hi simon how you doing um, i think i'm fine okay yes just so you came through turkey yes yeah yes where are you from i'm from ghana ghana yes. okay and <coughs> how did you get to turkey somebody uh, it's true try somebody's trying somebody say he will help me to find a better life somewhere Mm. The person take me to Turkey. When we reach the Turkey, the, somebody collect me from that person. That person says he's going, to, he's continuing his journey to Qatar. He will come back. He took me to one man took me from the airport to his mm. house, and I stayed there four months. I ask every time I ask the the woman is not coming. She say you come. He asked me to work. I'm working there. He's not paying me. So he abused me two times, and he wanted to abuse me the third time. I managed to escape. When I escaped, he shouted that I'm a thief, and the people rushed me and beat me up. So through struggle, I managed to escape from them, trying to cross the road. They can't hit me. The car hit me, I couldn't stop. So there was this Togo guy, Mohammed Hassan Mahama. He, too, he was just passing by with one Syria guy, and they saw me when the car hit me. Nobody attended to me, and they rushed to me, he and the Syrian man. They took me to a clinic, and the clinic, they say they won't look at me. Unless a point who am I? I mean, and they say no, 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 no. They should look at me. They refuse, and blood over my my body with my head cut. My head cut this place. Yeah, yeah. It's right. I won't show it. Really. Yes. So I don't want to show your face. So. Yes. So yeah. through that, uh, one Arab woman came. I don't know whether she's a staff there. That's what they say, and the woman instructed them to take care of me, even somehow. That's where they bandaged my, my hand, mm. and they wiped my body with, they say, spirit or something, mm. and they put me some plaster on my bodies, and they stitch my head, and they discharge. They say they won't keep me there, they discharge. So they say, they don't know me because the Togo man was telling them, you, too, you don't know me, he was just passing there. Mm. So they say, if that's the case, they can't keep me. So far, I don't have anybody. You, too, you say, you don't know me. So through that, he say, you can't go and leave me like that. Uh, he's a brother to every. He has a brother, so he feel pity. He can't go and leave me like that. And he, the Syrian man told him that, okay, if that's the case, he can help him to Greece, and he will link him to somebody at Izmir, and the person will take him to Greece if he want. And he say no, no problem. And the man called somebody and put us in the bus to Izmir, one town, mm. Izmir. And when we got there, the the one guy, Arabs guys, came and took us, and we stayed there about one week. They push us. When we reached, they say we are going to Greece. Me, I don't know it's water. Mm. We reached there and I saw it's water. Okay, when the car hit me, my I'm not seeing. You lost your eyes. I lost you, my you eyes. And when we reached there, and I <coughs> told them, he says it's water. I told them, me, I can't go. And he tell me, if I can't go, the police will come after me again, and the people will beat me again. I have no choice. So and the police got you before. In Turkey? No, the the man that abused me mm. always he told me that if I joke, you make the police beat yeah, me or make lock the me. Okay, okay. And and the when they push us, I told that I was crying because mm. 
I say I don't even my my spirit. I don't like water. I don't like seeing sea, mm. sea like that. I don't like. I can't. Mm. And he telling me that's the only thing you can do for me. If I can't go, he have nothing to do because he just want to help me as a brother. Mm. And me too. I have no choice. And he hold me like this. Mm. That I should stop crying. And we enter the boat and we took off. And the police, the keys, police arrest us. Mm. They arrest us. They they caught you out at sea. Yes. Yeah. And arrest you on the sea. Yes. Yeah. And they took us to one prison. <coughs> mm. They beat us. They shock us with something Electric. all over their body. Oh, okay. I oh, see. So you're pulling up your legs now, yes. showing me. Yes. They, they oh, shock yeah. us okay. with something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All over their body, yeah. and we don't know. They hit us. The jailers three, eight, two weeks, and they told us to tell us who pushed us and where are we going. We say we don't know the person. Mm. Every day they are beating us. They use stick. They have a one stick. They hit us. And that Hassan was telling them that I'm sick. Can't they have pity on me? Mm. He said, no. Because you're blind, yes. because of the car accident, yes. but they still and beat they you. Say, no, yeah. Yeah. they okay. don't care. The okay. language that they speak, we too we don't understand. Yeah. And he too was trying to speak them to English. They too look like they don't understand. Mm. They are just beating us. So they and electrified you and beat you? Yes. And God. Two weeks, they free us, mm. and from there we went back to Ismail. I told the guy, "Me, I can't go. Mm. I don't have any place because even I ran from my country because somebody they are threatening me. Yeah. That's why I ran. So something like that, I don't like, and mm. I don't have anybody here. And he told me that that's the only choice he have. And the the guy came again and he say. If we are ready, that night he will push us again mm. because he has a way to work in the night. And he push and we don't have choice. And he push us and we are true to. And you made it here? We made it. The yeah. Greece people came and rescued us because okay. when we are coming and the Turkey people saw us yeah. and they are chasing us, suddenly the Greece people to somebody called the Greece people or something. Yeah. This Syria people, and the Greece people came and rescued us. And they rescued you. The Greek Coast Guard rescued yes. you. That's and they nice. brought, they yeah. brought yeah. us they here. Brought you here. Okay, Simon. Um, you know, I I know we have a friend called Hugh, and she's going to help you get a blind stickers. How long have you been blind now? Three months? Yeah, I think three months. So it's very, it's when very cars, new. It's yeah. Actually, I already has accident, and I have a problem with my one sight. Okay. And when the accident came, yeah, I'm. I'm not seeing clear something. Some west, I don't see them clear. Yeah. So I was managed, you know, in the system, my country, mm. to treat your eyes, mm. the operate the money I can't afford. Yeah. So I have no choice. Mm. And so now you're completely blind, one hundred percent. Yes. Yeah. Now yeah. and yeah. when the car hit me here yeah. and I lost my sight. Yeah. And okay. So humans can. When when I came when I first came here. Mm. I'm seeing some. A little bit. A little bit. Mm. But later, I don't know what happened. No, it's all gone. And I was complaining, and there was one guy, George. And you were in Moria then? You were yes, in Moria? Yeah, yeah in Moria. In Moria and the camp, guy, yeah. I told the guy, this is what has happened to me. Mm. And now I can see. I can see. Mm. And he took me to the emergency doctors to look after me. Mm. And they, they don't care. Mm. And the guy said, you know, he took me to. Doc mobile and they say they give me a point but I say no that's not what we need me I don't want their anything I just want them to treat my my the eye license, because my yeah. eye is my everything yeah without my eyes I don't know what to do and mm. they don't care and the guy one there was some guys in the camp mm. and they asked the guy that they should take me to the clinic the big clinic in the Mitlini yeah and find out if then if they can look after me, if it is how much, they are ready to contrib contribute contribute and yeah. pay. And okay. we went there, they couldn't look after us. They say, unless we bring appointment. Okay. And the guy told them, this emergency, and they we weren't listening. Okay. And we went back to Kepna with the examine. They told, okay, they write, Luz took me to one doctor, Marcelo. Mm. 
he went to examine me. And he said it's true because of the accident, it has affected my my eye. Yeah. So he gave me an appointment since two months now. And it's today that we are going to the appointment. Oh good, good. So you're going to an appointment today. So yes. maybe we can see you can see what's wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Simon, it's been lovely to uh, met you. I met you over a week ago, and yes. uh, you know, and you're a special person. Yes. But you need a lot of help yes. because you've only just gone blind. Yes. Now, Hugh and our friend, who's blind in England, and her husband is blind. Yes. Um, they're sending you a stick, a blind stick. You should get today. Thank you. And next week, uh, the, Hugh and they they've done a collection in England and, and got you. A, it's a second-hand iPhone five. Thank you. Very much. But on that iPhone, the speech recognition things, it, it it's good for blind people. Thank you. So you can talk to it, and I think it sends a message. But what we'll do when we get it, we'll put you in touch with Hewin, and she she will explain to you everything because she's blind herself, Thank so she'll know. So you you can get used to it. At least then you can communicate. If you've got family in Ghana, you can, can communicate. Thank you stuff. very much. Um, we do what we can for you. You know that's all we can do. Yes. We, we do what we can. We really we need someone that uh, can teach you braille and things like this. Um, anyway, it's been lovely to know you, mate. Thank it you. Really is. And we do what we can for you. Thank okay. You. Yeah. All the best. All the.